Hey everybody, welcome to No Bones About Wrestling. I'm your host, Asa, and I'm here with Kay Fabulous. Hey. And this is your WWE SummerSlam 2023 preview and prediction show. So let's get right into it. Uh, SummerSlam, they used to call the biggest party of the summer. I don't think they call that anymore because partying's not cool anymore. The only thing that's cool is lecturing people about your political beliefs. So, let's get right to <laughs> the biggest lecture of the summer. SummerSlam 2023. <laughs> uh, first match is the Slim Jim SummerSlam Battle Royal, where the winner has not been announced to, to get anything, so we'll just say the winner gets a lifetime supply of Slim Jims. Which one of one of my hosts on a on a watch along said the other night. Uh, so here's who's announced so far in in the match: L.A. Knight, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa, Gable, uh, Chad Gable, that is, Otis, and Sheamus. So, who knows who else is going to join? I figure a bunch of people who have no matches. Um, I think this is hopefully an excuse for for them to give L.A. Knight a win because he has nothing else on the card. So I'm choosing L.A. Knight as the winner. I am also choosing L.A. Knight as the winner. Also, it's worth noting that as stakes with our predictions is our predictions championship belt, which I am currently the holder of. Correct. Correct. Not feeling very confident going into this pay per view with my picks, though. So we'll see. I think I may be losing my belt. Oh, I am feeling confident. So I think you are losing your belt. Mm-hmm. All right. So not a lot to say about that match, other than hopefully it'll be a fun battle royal. Get a bunch of different guys in there, and uh, maybe it'll be an enjoyable battle royal to watch. Uh, up next, our first quote unquote real match hey, of the who night. Who were you for? You didn't say who you were for. Oh, and we say who we're for as well. Yeah, we always do. Who am I for? Uh, out of those six, um, I guess Chad Gable. I am also for Chad Gable. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Uh, our first quote unquote real match, where where we all the participants have been announced and the gimmicks have been announced and everything, uh, is an MMA rules match. Now they haven't said what that uh, what that amounts to in WWE terms because I'm uh, I'm sure we're not going to have all the same rules as UFC. Um, but I don't know, so I don't know what MMA rules means because there are different federations. So what does MMA rules mean? It it probably means they're going to go out there dressed like they're fighting in UFC, and you have to win by submission or knockout. That's what it probably means. Uh, so we have Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler. Ronda Rousey, a former women's champion, uh, and these two women, former tag team champions together. So, Kay, who do you have winning this one? I have Shayna Baszler winning this one, and I am also for Shayna Baszler. Yeah, this one, of course, these two were tag team champions not too long ago. Uh, my understanding was they were going to have a longer program, but some things got in the way. There were some injuries, and and essentially they had to do the do their program on on speed wash, so to speak. Um, so Rousey and Baszler were women's tag champs, and then split up. And Baszler is talking about how Rousey, you know, wasn't really her friend at all; just needed someone around, and how. Baszler lived at her house, but lived at her house because Rousey uh, would exchange rent for being a sparring partner. So she would exchange rent in exchange for being able to have you around to beat you up. Very strange accusations flying here in this in this match. So and allegedly another layer on top of this is uh, according to the internet at least. Ronda Rousey is leaving the company after uh, after SummerSlam or shortly after SummerSlam. So I'm going to hope that those rumors are true in basing my opinion anyway. 
and I'm picking Shayna Baszler to win this one. Uh, and I'm also going for Shayna. Uh, she could use some wins. She's been impressive for a long time in WWE. She could use a big win like this, and hopefully it can propel her to uh, you know her first singles title in WWE. And so this should be an entertaining match, I think. I think these two ladies, who are, uh, of course, real-life friends, uh, will uh, come together and put on a pretty entertaining match for us. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, one of the most, one of the ones I'm most looking forward to on the card, actually. Uh, up next, we have Ricochet versus Goddamned Logan Paul. Can I just say something real quickly? Because I was going to say with the Ronda Shayna match that it's one of the matches with the best build. But then I looked at the card again. All of these matches have really good builds to them. Yeah. That's something WWE does way better than AEW is building the stories with the matches consistently throughout the card. True. True. I just had that thought and wanted to share. Well, WWE spends time with story while AEW spends time with wrestling so you can argue aw spends time if you pay attention to who wrestles who they do the builds better mm -hmm. if you pay attention to talking wwe does the builds better yeah. yeah so i i would i would attest if you pay attention to who wrestles who aw can does it just as well mm -hmm. Hmm. interesting um they just do it differently they do it differently. We're, we're just not used to the way that Tony Khan does it. I see. But I think you can make an argument for, for the way they do it just as well. Um, and I mean that. I'm not just saying that. I mean that. So Ricochet, Logan Paul, who do you have, Kay? I struggled with this one. Um. Yeah. And so I picked with my heart, and I picked Ricochet. He is who I want to win. He is who I am picking to win. Logan Paul is on a losing streak. I predict that losing streak will continue because he is a loser. I see. Yeah, Logan Paul has lost his last four uh, forays into WWE. So I am saying that there, he's not going to continue his losing streak. Uh, I think it's it's over, and this is sort of a make good match for Logan Paul. And I think Logan Paul is going to get the win over Ricochet. Unfortunately, who am I cheering for? Well, of course it's Ricochet. I'm I'm not ever going to cheer for Logan Paul. I'll tell you that. Uh, so hopefully what, Ricochet. What if it was Logan Paul versus the Street Profits? I would just turn the television off. <laughs> okay. So hopefully, hopefully Ricochet, uh, hopefully Ricochet gets the win here. This would be a big one for Ricochet. Uh, would be one of the biggest wins of his career, just because of how many eyes are going to be on this match uh, against Logan Paul. But I don't see, I don't see any way that Logan Paul loses here. Just because of the the build, and like I said, he's he's lost four matches in a row, dating back to his his last win in WWE was SummerSlam last year. So I, I see Logan Paul going over here. Uh, our next match, WWE Intercontinental Title match. We're really flying through these predictions here. Uh, Intercontinental, uh, Intercontinental title match. Champion Gunther of Imperium taking on Drew McIntyre. So, who do you have winning, Kay? I have the winning. So and who on, are you, who, who are you cheering for? I'm cheering for Gunther. Wow. I have Gunther retaining and chasing the Honky Tonk Man's record of longest intercontinental championship reign. Who am I cheering for? I'm cheering for Drew McIntyre. I'd like to what? see him in the reign. Uh, I like Drew McIntyre. I like Drew McIntyre too, but Gunther's awesome. 
I want his like dominant. Yeah, if you to like continue. Nazis, he's real awesome. He's a good heel. I dislike yeah. Nazis, therefore I dislike Gunther. Therefore, he's doing good at his job, so I'm for Gunther. That's my illogical way of thinking. I hope Drew McIntyre wins, and the American way of life prevails. Okay. I'm not pro Nazi. I just think Gunther does a good job in the ring. You're just cheering for the Nazi, right? He's not a Nazi. He He's a Nazi. He's very Nazi like. He's a Nazi. Let's be honest. He's a Nazi. If he wasn't German, would you still say that? No, but that's because the Germans were Nazis. The Nazis were German, is what oh. I mean, is what I should say. The Nazis were German. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't be a Nazi without being German. You could be a neo Nazi. Yeah, but he's not portraying a neo Nazi. He's portraying like a 1940s Nazi. Yeah, he does look like, like a Nazi. Yeah, he's portraying like a 1940s movie villain Nazi. Okay, well, I guess I'll cheer for Drew McIntyre then. So I'm not allowed to like any of Imperium? They're all Nazis, all three of them. I feel like Vinci doesn't really fit in with that group. He kind of doesn't, yeah. Yeah, he's like the odd man out. He seems too modern. The other two look like they're from the 1940s, like you said. But he looks like he's from, like, the 2000s. Mm-hmm. No amount of palmade is going to fix that. No amount of what? Palmade. The, like, old-timey grease you put in your hair to make it look like that. I thought he's both the bald one. Oh, that's true. Well, I was thinking, yeah. Okay, good call. I was trying to figure out what the fuck you were talking about. I forgot about. what he looked like. <laughs> He's bald. That's his main trait. I was trying to figure out what the fuck you were... Was he <laughs> eating it? Or what, what's... <laughs> no, I just forgot what he looks like. Because he's like the least known member of the group. Right. Up next... <laughs> We have the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, taking on Brock Lesnar. And this is the rubber match. They're tied at one apiece in their rivalry. So this will determine the the victor. And uh, we assume that this feud will end after this match, but who knows? Uh, so, Kay, who do you have winning this one? I have Cody Rhodes winning this one. And I am for Cody Rhodes. I have Cody Rhodes winning this one, and I am for Cody Rhodes as well. So I'm seeing these two brawling all over the place, fighting, tied up one-to-one. -one. You can't have these two in the same building without them fighting all over the damn place. And a lot of people were expecting this match to get a, a, a stipulation, but it, it doesn't have one. So, uh, so we're just going to have a normal match, it appears, at SummerSlam. Uh, between Rhodes and Lesnar, and it should be a should be a good match. These two have given us two good, uh, good to great matches already, and uh, I think they'll give us a, a great match here. Up next, the WWE Women's Title Triple Threat Match: Champion Asuka defends against Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair. I have Asuka retaining, and I am for Asuka. I think that Charlotte and Bianca are going to focus on taking each other out, and that will allow Asuka to get a sneaky win. Let's see, so I have uh, I picked Charlotte Flair to win um, because that's what she does. She wins championships. And who am I for? I'm for Charlotte. I'm always for Charlotte. Uh, and this will be her 15th Women's World Championship, I believe. Uh, so she's getting very close to tying her father and John Cena's record for World Championships at 16. This will be her 15th if she wins here. So I think this will be a very good match. Hopefully they have some, some excellent... Uh, Spots laid out for us. Hopefully there's not a lot of third person laying around dead. I hate that in a triple threat match. Um, 
hopefully we have some inventive spots involving all three competitors here. All right, we have just two matches left. We're blowing through these. Uh, up next, we have the WWE World title match. We have the champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins, defending against Finn Balor of Judgment Day. I'm going with Finn Balor of Judgment Day. I want them to have all of the belts. All of the belts. You said Seth. Finn Balor? Yeah, Finn Balor. I'm never going to pick Seth Rollins. Well, I might pick him to win, but I'm not going for him. I'm picking Finn Balor to win, and I am for Finn Balor to win. I'm picking Finn Balor to win, and I am also for Finn Balor to win. Yeah, this this win is seven years in the making. It's time. Yeah, I think it's time to give it to him. I'm a little hesitant. I mean, I'm definitely for Finn. I'm a little hesitant. I'm not sure if WWE is going to pull the plug on Rollins' title reign just yet. It's only been about four months as world champion. I'm not sure if they're satisfied with this being a definitive reign that they wanted out of Rollins just yet. But man, it, it feels like the time to give Balor the belt. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. Should be a, a heck of a match, though. All right. And in the main event, this is long. The WWE Undisputed Universal title slash tribal chief tribal combat match so the winner will be the undisputed universal champion and the tribal chief and the match is conducted under tribal combat rules now what are tribal combat rules we've not been told yet we may be told on smackdown on friday um but we've not been told yet uh, but it is uh, your champion Ro- and tribal chief, Roman Reigns, and he's defending against Jay Uso. Kay, who do you like here? So, as you were saying in your introduction, I changed my answer again because I keep going back and forth on this one. But I am choosing Jay Uso, and I am for Jay Uso. Wow. Because fuck Roman Reigns. Well, I'm certainly for Jey Uso, as I feel a lot of us are. But I'm predicting Roman Reigns to keep the Universal title and moniker of Tribal Chief. I just don't see them ending this train, you know, where Roman is the top of everything, and I don't see them ending it yet. Do we know what tribal combat means? I literally just said we don't know what it means. Oh. Literally just went over that. Oh, I missed that. Sorry. I was busy changing my pick while you were talking because I was stressing so much about this match. Um, I think that Jimmy is going to come back and stop Solo from interfering, mm-hmm. which is what is going to lead uh, Jay to victory. He may. He may. But then, I, I don't know. You know, tribal combat, we may see some of the these tribal elders that they keep talking about. You got to figure these people are going to show, show up at some point, like Rikishi. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure who else. Afa, I think, is still alive, I believe. And then I'm not sure who else would be. Um, but you got to think at least those two would show up. I'm not sure who else. Do you think on SmackDown on Friday they'll go over what tribal combat means i literally just said that okay. a minute ago okay i was as i said not listening i was changing my mind about Jay. as i, I said mean. a minute ago who knows if they'll go over it on smackdown on mm-hmm. friday no i know who knows but do you i'm asking what you think you i'm sure you have an opinion i think they will okay so that's what i was asking i think they will um but yeah, I think Roman Reigns will continue as champion. You know, this has been such a streak uh, with the story. I don't see why they why they end it yet. Jey Uso does not feel like he's going to be the one to beat Roman. He feels like he could be, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong, but he doesn't feel like he's going to be the one that finally does to me after all these others have failed. doesn't feel like it's going to be Jey Uso right now. Who do you think it's going to be then? 
If it's not Shea Uso. I feel like it's going to be and should be Cody Rhodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, that being said, could Jey Uso win here and then Cody Rhodes wins the belt eventually from Jey U- Uso? Mm-hmm. Fine. I don't care who Cody Rhodes has to fucking win it from. As long as Cody <laughs> Rhodes gets that belt eventually, yeah. I don't care. Um, that's my feeling on it. When I had picked Reigns initially, it was because I thought Cody needs to win it from Reigns. But then I'm ready for his reign to be over, so I'm picking Jay. Yeah, I hear you. I'm I'm ready for it to be over as well. Well, I just it would be nice if there were. I don't, I'm not. I don't really care so much that his reign be over. I would just like it if the belt would be defended regularly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has less to do with Roman holding the title and more to do with the title never getting defended. I don't mind even a long reign. I just want to see the belt getting defended. Mm -hmm. I just want there to be the possibility of someone ending it. And that possibility isn't there when the belt's only defended every two or three months. Yeah. It it makes it uninteresting. It's like, will his reign last two or three more months? Well, fuck, it probably will if he doesn't fight anybody. Mm -hmm. You know? So, well, there's your SummerSlam card. It's, uh... It's it's fucking stacked. I don't see any match that sticks out as... I mean, every match sounds good to me. Uh, like, really. The worst sounds like a battle royal. Uh, sounds like the battle royal. And the battle royal is still probably even going to be fun. So, sounds like a damn good pay-per-view. WWE, uh, their TV has been spotty lately, but... Their pay-per-views, as we know, they've been on a roll of of excellent pay-per-views, and I don't see that stopping here. This sounds like a fantastic pay-per-view. Something would have to go terribly wrong for it to not be fantastic, and uh, and I, uh, I don't I don't see that happening. Uh, it's gonna be a fantastic show. Uh, we are doing a live uh, watch along with last week in wrestling. Uh, you can catch us there. I don't know what time the watch along is actually starting. I think it might be seven thirty on Sunday. I'll have to check. I thought uh, this was on Saturday. Saturday, shit. Thank you, Saturday. Yeah, because it's not. We're missing. Closure. It is Saturday. Uh, Saturday, seven thirty. Uh, Saturday, seven forty-five. Saturday. Um, but I will be in costume. K might be in costume. Others in the watch along will be in costume as favorite WWE personalities. No real reason other than just to give you viewers, maybe give you a chuckle or two. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, But we will be there uh, guiding you through the world that is World Wrestling Entertainment taking you through the mists and out the other side of SummerSlam 2023. Don't worry. Hold our hands. We'll guide you. (laughs) SummerSlam! (laughs) 2023, baby. All right. Woo! So, um, that'll be the next time you'll... uh, No, I'm sorry. The next time you'll hear from us will be Thursday with our AEW... Uh, Dynamite, that'll be our the 200th uh, Dynamite episode recap, um, which their 200th episode is, man, it looks great on Wednesday. And we'll have the recap, as always, Thursday afternoon for you. And then uh, uh, the usual places where you get it, it'll be there Thursday. And then, as I said, Saturday on Last Week in Wrestling. You can get that on his Twitter channel and on his YouTube channel, Last Week in Wrestling, Saturday. Uh, like I said, look around 7.30. I'm not sure when we're starting. 7.30, 7.45, 8. One of those three times is when we're beginning. Keep an eye out on Twitter and we'll let you know. Exactly, exactly. Um, or X now. X, X I'm sorry. yes. And folks, and uh, just... Uh, yeah, wherever you listen to podcasts, uh, subscribe to us. 
and uh, rate us. You know, that's how we get new listeners. Give us five bones. Give us five stars. Give us whatever they'll, they'll let you give us. Give us the most. That's how we get new listeners. That's how we meet new people. And uh, it becomes a wrestling community, and we can all talk about wrestling together, and that'll be a fun time. And uh, and that's all for uh, your SummerSlam preview. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully it gives you an insight into the card. And uh, this is Asa saying, uh, as Mick Foley would say, have a nice day. Bye.